I have seen a lot of dabs over the years, tons of different types of extracts, different cannabis concentrates, different methods used to extract. I've bought some from recreational dispensaries, medical dispensaries. I've purchased them off the plug. I've even made dabs myself. So I've seen a lot of different variety, a lot of different varying qualities of cannabis concentrate. And I'm here to tell you about the worst dabs I ever saw. They maybe didn't come from where you think. The first dabs I ever bought, I got off the plug when I lived in Florida before I moved to Colorado. I think I was getting shatter for like a hundred bucks a gram and it was straight poop soup. It wasn't shattery. You had to put it in the freezer. After it came out of the freezer, it thawed out and it wasn't shatter anymore. It was literal poop soup, literal butane soup like they talk about. That was some of the first dabs I ever got, but they weren't even the worst. The worst dabs I ever saw were in a medical marijuana dispensary and they were made by one of the best extractors, one of the most popular extractors that I get asked about all the time on my Twitch stream. People ask me if I've tried a few brands. It's usually Cali brands, but there's a few brands they ask about over and over again. And I ended up telling this story on my Twitch stream the other night, which if you don't follow me on Twitch, what are you doing? We're probably doing a live smoke sesh right now. Can't really smoke on the tubes anymore, but we get lit on Twitch. So join me over there. So I find this story interesting because the concentrate brand is so popular. I'm going to tell you the name in a minute, but it's one of those brands that a lot of people know about. People ask me about about all the time. Maybe try to guess if you think who it is. But this story occurred several years ago. I was working in a Colorado Springs medical marijuana dispensary and I got a call from our district manager at the time. He said, there's going to be a shipment of dams that come into the store. I need you to check it, verify it's all there and then sign off on it. Something pretty standard. Colorado, you get a lot of things from third party processors, third party extractors, edible makers. Sometimes you do what's called a trim trade or a bud trade. Instead of buying it off of them wholesale, you give them the materials to run so you get a discount on the final product of edibles or dabs or carts, whatever you get. The dispenser I worked at had some pretty high quality trim. We did many different trim trades with other brands. And some of them would tell us we just straight up had the best trim that they love to run. Part of a trim trade would be that the extractor would keep a portion of it instead of giving us a discount. There's multiple ways to do it. I do recall one of the extractors telling us we had some of the best trim in all of Colorado at the time. From obviously the pools of what they were testing and using. But they loved using our trim and our bud to run their material. And several years ago, almost everything was made with trim. They'll tell you everything's bud now. But several years ago, most of the dabs you're buying, trim, edibles, trim, cartridges, all made from trim. Which if you don't know what trim is, it's just the sugar leaf, the frosty leaves they chop off the plant that aren't as smokable, but it still has THC. Well, I was waiting for this shipment of dabs. It was supposed to be half shatter, half wax or butter, whatever you want to call it. There's so many different names for the consistencies and they're not very consistent with themselves. But we were supposed to get about a half pound, like a hundred or so grams of each. About midway through the day, the guy brings in the shipment of dabs and I'm supposed to be the one that checks it out, verifies they're all there, everything like that. And again, I, I did say this was a popular brand. They're, they're huge in California and I know they've been in Colorado a long time. And I know that the same people making the dabs in California aren't the same people making the dabs in Colorado. But branding is important for people. So I'm checking out the shipment of dabs. I'm verifying all the packagings there. They're supposed to be like 100 or so of each. I'm kind of counting them up, making sure everything's there. Pretty standard. I'm excited about this. I was getting into dabbing at this point. I was dabbing more and more. I was trying concentrates out from different dispensaries. So I was excited for the shipment because I knew I was going to get an employee discount on it and first pick at whatever was there. Literally check it in and set aside the best ones for myself. I never did that. No, I did it all the time. I verify them, they're all there, and I'm like, all right, let me just check out the quality. I opened the first gram of shatter. I'd seen a ton of shatter at this point. I would consider it low quality if it wasn't like completely shattery, but most shatter was either like a pretty light yellow or a pretty solid amber color, depending on how they ran it and what they ran. But for the most part, I had a general idea for what shatter should look like. So I open up this gram of shatter and then I can see instantly like through the paper that it, it like do it doesn't look right. It looked like a Tootsie Roll in like an all white wrapper. Like I could see through it and I could just tell it was so dark and it was like a, a lump of it. Inside this parchment paper, is the worst dabs I've ever seen. It was supposed to be shatter. It looked like a licorice Jolly Rancher. It looked like no dabs I'd ever seen before. I had never seen dabs this dark. It was it was like ink from a pen. Like, I don't know how to explain it. I look at it, I'm like, ugh. I look right at the guy, right at the rep. Here, here's the brand, guys. Here's the, here's the brand I kind of held off until now because they're a pretty popular brand. And I, I need to stress that I don't think that this instance reflects the quality and I didn't have too many experiences with them after I was so turned off by this experience, I didn't try them for a while. 
I'll try them again in the future. They have good stuff. But it was 710 Labs, bro. I get asked about 710 Labs like 10 times a week on my Twitch streams, on my YouTube streams. People like, hey, bro, you tried 710 Labs? <laughs> This is this is what pops into my head when people ask me about 710 Labs. I just remember this black Jolly Rancher that I pulled out of this sleeve of what was supposed to be Shatter. I was just like, what the fuck, bro? So I, I checked out a few. They all look like that. And then I move over to the wax. I wanted, I think it was butter or wax. I don't, sometimes they just use one term for both. And I move over to the butter or wax. It was in a container like this. Not the, not the same kind, but it was just like a little twist off container. I open it up. And it's just like a little black puddle in there. It just looked like somebody poured ink in there out of a pen. or It, it kind of looked like RSO. RSO is pretty dark. But it was just soupier. It was poop soup, okay? It was diarrhea soup. You do not want to do diarrhea dabs. So I'm just looking inside this and I'm like... I have only been dabbing for like maybe less than a year at this point, but I knew that dabs shouldn't look like what they look like. I'm like, bro, this is this is not, I'm talking to the guy, the 710 Labs rep who brought this from Denver or whatever. He drove 90 minutes to give us, he's probably doing a bunch of deliveries. And I'm like, what the fuck, bro? Like, why does it look so trash? And obviously it's not his fault, but he's trying to brush it off. He's trying to defend his company a little bit. It's usually, I don't know. It's uh, usually the places with the lower quality trim that give out the worst quality stuff. It's usually why it comes out darker or whatever. And I literally had some test results from other extractors that were comparing our trim and our buds that we would send off to get stuff made. Our shit was always like the best testing. They loved our shit. I'm not sure exactly, but I think I remember they were newer. They were getting set up and established in Colorado. I think they were already in Cali at the time. I'm not sure of the history, but I do remember the guy saying they were they were newer and they were just trying to get established in the area. Bro, I there was the worst abs. I went through a few of my, opened up a few. And it was just like little ink puddles inside the containers. And I'm just like, there's no way anybody should dab this. This is a medical marijuana dispensary. And this is not medicine. So I called the manager on the phone and I'm like, hey, uh, you remember those dabs I'm supposed to check in and make sure everything's here and all that and whatnot? He's like, yeah. And I'm like, they all look like shit. They are all undabbable. You can't dab them. And I'm a, I'm a little bit newer of an employee. So there wasn't that, that uh, rapport there, that level of trust. He thought I didn't know what I was talking about. He thought I was slightly concerned that the dabs might have been a little bit too amber. And he's over the phone like, yeah, sometimes dabs are different colors. Sometimes they look different. I'm sure it's fine. Just sign off on it and I'll check it out later. And I'm like, I'm telling you, they are undabbable. I would not touch this. I was excited for this and I'm not going to buy any of them. He's like, nah, it's, it's probably fine or whatever. Blah, 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 blah. I know more than you. Whatever. Anyway. He comes in later that day to check out the dabs. I had a nice container set aside for him. One of the wax is ready to go. I was like, just open that lid and take a look inside. He pops the top off and he's just like, fuck. He was pretty pissed because I was telling him on the phone that they were so bad. And then he looks at me, he's like, I didn't think they were gonna be that bad. I'm like, what do you think I called you for? You think I called you because the color was slightly off? He's an ink bro. They were all bad. I looked through several of them. There wasn't one that even looked sort of okay. So we just had this big old shipment of like over 200 grams of 710 labs poop soup. And we got to push it out the door. But the district manager decided like instantly that we couldn't sell those at full price. So I think they were like, they went out the door for like 20 bucks a gram, which at the time was more than like 50% off. You literally didn't want to dab them. I don't know how they sold. They were there for a little while. Literally the worst dabs I've ever seen. And it's from one of the most popular extractions almost everybody knows about 710 labs if they're super into dabbing i get asked about 710 labs i think more than i get asked about any other brand well thanks for watching and if you want to hear about my first day working at a dispensary it's the same dispensary in this story check out this video and learn why i'm not going to die for those mids